We're here to experience incredible places, and go on journeys, go on adventures. I think I got one here. See new things. That's what the human spirit was built on, is what is out there? How can we go further? How can we see more? How can we experience all there is to experience in life? This is what you live for. Go tenderloin. You know what that means, eh, Trav? It means we got her done. Now we're starting to get into goat country. This is where I started getting excited about getting out of the boat and boots on the ground. Well, that's good to hear. I don't know if we'll have a goat tonight, but I'll be psyched to at least have some miles on my legs, eh? Yeah, it'll be good to get out of the boat for sure. Greg, that looks like the best Yukon goat country I've ever seen. <laughs> Up on the high peaks, Greg, it looks like they're pretty socked in with cloud cover what do you think of that yeah this time of day i think it's you know the way things look it's going to open up here because that sun is going to burn through i think and you know it's a classic line you know you wait 15 minutes and the weather will change and that's totally true in the yukon i think that we need to pull over up here somewhere and get the scope on that because that that looks like a goat to me from here. If it is one, it looks like a reasonable chance to, to get there. <laughs> is there anything that we can't get to? Just a matter of time. <laughs> it's a matter of time and will. <laughs> yep. We need to go up a little further and find a good spot to pull out to see if we can get the scope out and see if we can really assess whether that's a goat or not. From what we saw though, it looked- Oh no, it looks like a goat. We just have to, you know, want to yeah. really get a really good look at it. Yeah. We got to make a move, Trav. Ready to get after it? get across this swamp. What we're doing right now, bashing through bush, off the trail, steep, technical, basically just trying to keep up with Greg while he sets a course. I mean, this, this to me harkens to the adventure racing days. Most of the time in hunting, you're, you're going slow, you're taking your time, you're being patient, but this is one of those times and you can hear it, we're breathing hard, we're, we're pushing. It's about all the time all the time we got for now. So we gotta keep pushing. <laughs> Running and hunting and hiking and mountain biking in the Colorado Rockies and we got a lot of rocks, but we don't have this kind of tundra. This is like about a foot of wet sponge each step and it feels good going down, but coming back up, you definitely gotta work a little harder get back out of it. You know, if you can find a way to get out with someone who has experience or knows that terrain and that animal, your learning is just gonna be skyrocketed. His clump is still in view. Yeah. So our reference is, once we get up to the, the first bench, that's our goal spot. And, cause right now we, he's out of sight. So. No, but not by far. No, not by too far. But. It's kind of bush here where you can't see far at all. This is the time I start thinking a little about grizzly bears and trying to pay attention. Greg's got a rifle, but it's on his back, so if anything happens, we got the bear spray. Full on race mode. And those races are really dynamic. Four person co-ed team, trekking, mountain biking, kayaking. Paddling. Paddling, yeah. Propelling, fixed ropes. Back in old days, the only thing we're missing is they don't have the, uh, the compass out. Now we just have to just pick our way. Don't need to run, we just need to slow it down, bring our Bring the AR base down. Hope he's still there. 
They're almost gonna break out into the open. I think the goat is at about just over 4,900. Um, we're at 37, so we got another 1,200 feet. We just gotta keep going before it gets dark. Like he's laboring. Ah, he's walking. He's bending down. He's done. Yeah. Head down. Oh, oh go. there he goes. Got him. They are tough. Yeah. You got to be tough to live here. Good job, buddy. Pleasure to share it with you. Tell you what, this Thanks is, for being here, man. Yeah. Well, this, to, to me, this is this is what a hunt should be. Taking an animal's life is a it's not an easy thing. It means something, and it's never really easy. It's it's who I am, and it's who who we are as people. And you know, it's part of the circle of life. I tell you what, I know, I know for me, I mean, seeing a death is hard, and being part of it is hard. But I also being in a place like this, being part of a team like this, getting food this way, like it's it's the way things should be. Life is hard. There's highs. There there's lows. Um, death is part of it for all of us. Any chance we'll get them out before dark, Greg? I don't think there's any chance we're getting them out before dark. <laughs> Buddy, you know, you're, you're coming up to, to this animal that, that you've worked really hard to, to get. And you know, the, the first, you get to actually put your hands on it, and it's, it's real. It's just nothing but respect and, and trying to show honor to the animal that you've just taken. for sharing it with me. Beautiful animal. We spent a lot of time in the mountains together and this is the first time we've been hunting together. So it's been fantastic to yeah. have you along and to experience this hunt, not only from my perspective, but actually through your eyes yeah, yeah. in a lot of ways. The, f the feeling is mutual and you do still have the energy. And I, I'm a new hunter and, and this moment to me of touching the animal is, is one of mixed emotion. I mean, on the one side, there's just the, the awe of, of the species. And, you know, I mean, these guys, I've been running around in Colorado my whole life up on 14ers, seeing practically domesticated mountain goats up there. They were my buddies, and not once did I think about harvesting one until the last couple of years as I've, as I've gotten into hunting. And when it's up close and personal, it's 
it's sadness too. And, and that's, I mean, think about my dog. And I think about how important animals are to me and the, the irony of um, taking one's life, which is something I believe in and is something that I think is what we are made to do. And I, th I think if we're gonna eat meat, I, I strongly believe this is the way to, to do it. So we're gonna make it down in daylight, Greg? Yeah, I think there's a good chance. If, if you mean tomorrow morning. Because <laughs> right. I, think, I think that that's, uh, I think it's doable, man. Okay, well. Let's see what, <laughs> let's do it. Let's work away at it. Goat tenderloin. You know what that means, eh, Trav? That means dinner to me. <laughs> it means we got her done. We're here to experience incredible places go on journeys, go on adventures, see new things. That's what the human spirit was built on, is what is out there? How can we go further? How can we see more? How can we experience all there is to experience in life? And for me, this is how I feel I experience all there is to, is by hunting in the mountains and doing it with, with great men. <laughs>